Hi Aries, this is your July mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. In the first spread we'll see who is coming towards you in terms of new love. In the second spread we'll look at the existing love in a relationship or marriage and we'll uh, end with uh, somebody coming back from the past in the second half of July. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in the second half of July. We have uh, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have uh, the Chariot in the potential outcome. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. And we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, Cancer, pretty much any Zodiac sign. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a victory parade. Uh, this person is riding in on a high horse and uh, it's like they've recently accomplished something. Uh, they've won at some kind of a... Uh, I don't know. It feels like this person is very well established and uh, uh, they're coming in and they're very sure that they're going to win you over. But they're coming in not in a cocky, not in an arrogant way. They're coming in like um, now that I have everything that I have, <laughs> now that I've accomplished everything that I've accomplished I'm sure Aries will take me will take me and perhaps you already know this person and in the past uh, this person was not up to your standard and there's nothing wrong with having standards I actually promote having standards but now this person is like yeah now I I make a lot of money now I own my own property now I have this now I have that and uh, they're coming in with a notion that uh, you will take them. You will uh, you will accept their offer to be together. If this is a brand new person, still that's how they're coming in. They're coming in as uh, as somebody who knows what they want, somebody who is in charge, somebody who is uh, victorious. Right? There are two victory cards in the tarot deck, and both of them are on the table. All right, the six of wands and the chariot. Those are the two victory cards. The chariot is a card of a triumph, success. All right, achievement. Um, but we actually start with the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck, you know. <laughs> this is them asking you out or approaching you if you meet this person somewhere while you're out socializing by yourself or with friends, right? The King of Pentacles, the first card I come out, that's the person, right? Um, probably an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. Or they're very grounded, very serious. They could be an entrepreneur, they could be wealthy. You know, that type of a personality. The Ace of Swords, clarifying uh, the King of Pentacles, pretty much confirms that this person knows exactly what they want. They want you, Aries. They, and they're going to tell you. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation. They're not going to be beating around the bush. They'll just tell you straight up. You know, the Ace of Swords is um, a card of a brand spanking new beginning. Again, we have that Six of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, a card of a personal satisfaction and fulfillment, right? Uh, that's how this person feels right now, that their their wish is being granted, and their way, and by their wish I mean you. <laughs> the Chariot, again, another uh, victorious card, could be a Cancer you're dealing with. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. You're the Queen of Wands, right? And uh, those are some serious cards sitting right next to you. I'm talking about the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, right? It's like, this is exactly what you would expect from the King of Pentacles, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a rock-solid commitment. It's a card of real estate. It's a card of financial abundance. It's a card of stability, security, all that stuff. The Knight of Pentacles is the most serious knight out of all four knights. Again, an earth sign indicator, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, you can always plan ahead, five, ten years into the future, right? Uh, this is the most stable, financially abundant, long-term knight out of all four knights. And you are the Queen of Wands uh, right next to the deck. What's interesting, right, uh, is that the first card I came out was the King of Pentacles, and the last that card that came out was the Queen of Wands. <laughs> and you got all these cards in between. It's like a journey. It does feel like this person is completing a journey. You can always leave me a comment let me know uh, what exactly uh, this person is uh, so proud of because they are proud of something and they're going to share it with you. And it feels like now that they've achieved all of this, they're ready to share it with you, um, Aries. All right, really happy for you. Congratulations. Aries, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, there's better for you. We have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have uh, the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Swords. 
Then we have the ASO once and we have the full on the bottom of the deck. Um, here's the deal. The Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, the first two cards all the way to your left, the first two cards that came out. I think there's going to be an offer. Um, it could be an offer from them to you or the other way around. However, whoever is on the receiving end of the offer, their initial reaction is going to be, I'm not so sure if this is a good idea. <laughs> but then uh, there's going to be a change of heart, right? Perhaps there, if, uh, if you're on the receiving end of this offer, um, you may do your research or they may help you do your research, they will show you, they will prove you that it's not so bad, it's not so risky, it's not so reckless, it's not so crazy, and then you will change your mind. It's like you'll make an educated decision, you'll be like, okay, alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, and it could be anything, any, absolutely anything, something you haven't done in the past. Alright, it could be you guys taking a class together, it could be you guys uh, trying other um, passionate things, if you know <laughs> what I mean. It could be you guys going somewhere where, where you don't really want to go, but uh, you'll change your mind. Alright, so yeah, the Ace of Wands right next to the deck, the, yeah, that's the la that was the last card that came out. So yeah, the answer is yes, but after uh, the uh, Six of Pentacles with the uh, Page of Swords play out. This, the Page of Swords, I think, in this case, is a research, right? And the Six of Pentacles is like, uh, let's see, let's see what we can do about this, right? The Fool on the bottom of the deck is actually one of your major arcana cards, Aries, right? But at the same time, the Fool is uh, taking the leap of faith, doing this, uh, taking this risk, starting this new thing, whatever that new thing is. I hope that makes sense, all right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, uh, in the second half of July. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have uh, the Chariot, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have uh, the Sun, we have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups, and we also have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with uh, Cancer, Leo, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. What's interesting is that we are, in the second half of July, we're wrapping up Cancer birthday season, and we're starting Leo birthday season. Right, and uh, the chariot, the first card I came out is a Cancer major kind of card. The sun is a Leo <laughs> major kind of card. Perhaps it's, it has something to do with their birthday. It could be like a birthday party that you're going to be going to, and perhaps it's like a double birthday party. Um, like a really late Cancer is celebrating their birthday together with a really early Leo. They're just combining their birthdays. I've seen ha things like that happen. It could be one of their birthday. Right, uh, the page of ones, I find the chariot is somebody uh, you know starting a conversation, and by somebody, I mean this person from the past, whatever their zodiac sign is, right? And uh, yeah, I think the, the two of you will give it another shot. We got the six of cups, qualified by the two of cups, right next to the deck, right? Both of them are soulmate cards, all right, and uh, at the same time, the six of cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past, but. Um, the thing about the Six of Cups, it, it, it doesn't have to be your ex. It could be, but it could just be somebody from your past. Okay? And, um, by the way, we do have Venus going retrograde on uh, the 22nd, I believe. And uh, this is when more exes than usual may resurface. <laughs> or just people from the past may resurface. Alright, so don't be surprised if there's more than one person from the past all of a sudden. Uh, reaches out to you. The Emperor on the bottom of the deck, that's uh, you, Aries. That's your major arcana card, unless you're dealing with another Aries. Um, I, yeah, I think you will give it another shot. The Sun, by the way, is not only a Leo card, it's the happiest card in the deck. So I think you're going to be, I guess, happy <laughs> to see one another. Alright, so yeah, I think you will give it another shot. So that's what I have for you, Aries, uh, for uh, this uh, time period. If this uh, video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing the rest of July.